Hi, I'm Brandon Davis, owner of Davis CPA Group in Joplin, Missouri. And today I'm just gonna chat with you all about choice of entity selection. Uh, choice of entity uh, when setting up a new business is something that my clients ask me a lot about. And so today I thought we'd uh, talk through kind of informally uh, different options of uh, entity that you can select when starting a business and maybe what some of the pros and cons of some of those entities are and uh, we can kind of go from there. So we'll kind of jump right into it. You know, a lot of times people uh, give me a call and, and want to uh, set a time to meet to talk about uh, figuring out what is uh, the best business option for them. And they usually come to me with some idea of being a corporation or an LLC, and, but they don't know what that means. And so maybe we can kind of dive into that a little bit further too and, and talk about that. Uh, one of the things that we like to, uh, to look at whenever we're figuring out what entity choice is best is you know, what is the goal of the business? You got to come into it thinking about one, what type of business am I going to be? Uh, what am I going to be offering? Is it a product or service? Am I going to own real estate? Am I going to have other investors, other owners? And these are all things that come into play. And so while we talk through some things today at a high level, there's a lot of details that we'd want to factor in the situation. We figure out the exact perfect entity selection for you, but that's something we can figure out uh, once, once you're ready. But at a high level, uh, the majority of entities that we talk through from a standpoint of, of any choices is you've got your LLCs, which is a limited liability company. We've got uh, corporations, which is uh, basically uh, incorporated entities uh, <clears throat> that, uh, that you set up with uh, shareholders and things of that nature. And we've got partnerships. So basically, there's three uh options that you have uh, in looking at a choice of entity. We've got an LLC, corporation, and a partnership. An LLC uh, is a limited liability company. Uh, those are uh, uh, set up a little bit different corporations. You know, uh, a corporation is set up, uh, they're, they're all, let me back up, they're all set up with the Secretary of State's office when you first create an entity. And we recommend you get an attorney involved in, in getting the, the entity created. An LLC is a little bit less formal than a corporation in that uh, generally, you don't have uh, bylaws and, and, and boards of directors and annual reports that you have to file. Uh, the LLC basically has members as the owners, and those members can either manage the LLC or they can hire managers to manage the LLC. Uh, corporations, they have board of directors, they have stockholders, they have officers, you know, presidents, vice presidents, secretaries, treasurers, and that's generally the structure there. Partnerships are a little bit uh, looser than, than these two even further. Uh, partnership entities basically have partners, hence the name partnership, and they come together and they create an operating agreement that then dictates what, uh, how things are going to be split up from the standpoint of income, expenses, uh, gains and losses. Uh, and we also can have a lot more flexibility in a partnership structure and how you allocate those things. So one of the things that we want to look at, uh, just kind of walking through stuff that you want to think about when you're looking at pick, pick, picking one of these three entities, is one, uh, ease of setup, which again, the LLC is probably the easiest thing to set up. Your corporation is gonna be a little more complex in operation and your partnership's kind of somewhere in the middle. The second thing you wanna think about is what type of, uh, what, what's my business gonna be doing? I, am I a service company? Am I gonna be a retail organization? Am I gonna be a company that just holds real estate as investments? Uh, so we need to think about, you know, what are we going to be doing and, and what's, what type of business are we going to be? So type of business, that's got to be considered. Because one of the things I tell my clients is if I'm going to hold real estate, I don't want to be a corporation. Uh, and there's some tax reasons that we don't want to be a corporation, and we'll get into those at a later point. Um, but, you know, if, if we're going to be a... Um, uh, a big retailer uh, or a, a big manufacturing company and maybe operate in multiple states, maybe we need the, the, the more sophisticated corporate structure for liability protection purposes and being able to cross state lines a little bit better and what have you. So that's something you really got to think about. Uh, and the, the third thing uh, you want to think about is uh, ownership. How many owners are you going to have? Are you going to have multiple owners? Are you going to have some owners with different types of interest? Uh, so ownership structure is something else that, that, that you definitely want to consider. And so what I mean by that is I may have a situation uh, where I have owners that share in the profits of the, of the company, and then I've got some owners that just want to share in uh, a future return. And so we could have preferred shares of stock in a corporation uh, on partnerships. We have different types of owners there that, that 
either get all or more of the uh, the, the the profits versus versus other owners, uh, and then your LLC has the ability to be a little bit of a hybrid between the two. So, so ownership structure is important too. Um, and also, the other thing you need to think about is liability protections. You know, does does the LLC give you the liability protections that you need versus a partnership? A general partnership, uh, basically, let me write that down here. Liability protection. Again, don't. Uh, uh, chastise my spelling on my writing, but liability protection is a big deal. You know, partnerships, particularly general partnerships, the partners are liable for not only any debts that the partnership has, but any claims against the partnership. For example, if I'm in a partnership with another individual and we're in a service business and they perform a, a poor service that produces a liability or a claim against our entity, we're both personally liable to what happens. Whereas a corporation puts a veil of protection around uh, just the actions inside the corporation. The shareholders generally are not liable for any claims or liabilities that are generated. Similarly with the LLC, you have that structure also or that, that liability protection, hence the name limited liability company. So those are uh, some of the things we definitely want to think about uh, whenever you're uh, creating an entity for the first time. Ease of setup, type of business, the ownership structure, and, uh, and liability protection. And I'm happy to talk with anybody about that a little bit further if uh, this raises more questions for you and we can meet and set a time to uh, discuss that in detail.